There we go. Also, burial with the 76. We're going to have to 76 you. Anakin, thank you for the prime, dude. Appreciate it. Good to see you. And Death Gibbs with a big 4 9. What's going on? Big Jeff. Uh, is that look okay? Like choppy at all? Looks good. Um, we we're having an issue with like the frame rate with Zomboid for a while, but I think I finally figured it out a little bit. Let's see if I can go up this big tower. But yeah, it's about time to get the hell out of here. This character has been living in this military base his like an entire spawn. But uh, he's built up a lot of skills. He's pretty good to go. He shoots a gun good. He looks like a fucking G.I. Joe character. I gotta stop that secondary zoom. The frame rate? Well, it was just like, I think I had it locked at a different, at like a really high frame rate, like the game itself. So OBS wasn't able to capture it properly. It was like bugging out and dropping a lot of frames from encoding. Because it was trying to encode so many frames at once. It was just working harder than it could it could work, basically. But I think I turned it down and locked the frame rate in the game itself, so... It's working pretty good. Like, this wasn't working at all before this entire, like, building. I wasn't able to, like, walk through it and capture it, rather, at the same time. All right. There's a lot of food in, like, fridges and stuff like that. Ah, oh, just bit my cheek. I hate that. Yo, Virtual Light. With the 45. Good to see you, dude. Hope you've been well. Always a pleasure. Look at this. This is all modded stuff, though, but doesn't that character look pretty... Pretty fucking LARPing some live action role play. Yeah, there's like 300 plus mods on this server right now. But they're all like really good ones. <laughs> No, the music is just my own. I have Spotify on. The music in Zomboid's pretty good, though. I'm going to put it on in a minute. But yeah, today's the day we bust out of this base. We got the bus all geared up. I should actually go eat maybe a little bit. See what's left in there. It's all snowy. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the audio badges and stuff. I have a feeling Twitch is going to get rid of those at some point. Because no one uses them, I think, correctly anyways. I don't know. I wonder if I should take this other M1. It's all beat the fuck up, though. Throw it in the bag just in case. Might need it. Oh, happy birthday in game. That's why I love Zomboid, like the actual. I don't know. You live three, 365 days a year. I don't know. It's kind of neat. All right. Put that music on. There we go. I really like the Zomboid music, honestly. They added a lot to it over the past few years, too, I think. 
all that banjo music. I mean, that's like one of the things in Zomboid, though. You kind of have to RP your own end goal sometimes, I feel like. Like, we're playing through a diff few different characters on this server right now. And they all kind of have their own little story and where they're going. So there's actually a mansion in Louisville. In Louisville. Way over here. I don't even have it mapped out, but there's a giant city right here. And normally there's like a end to the map, but I modded in like a whole little town on the other side. It's like a governor's mansion and shit. And I guess this guy's objective is to get out there. Get to the helicopter. I mean, you can put boats and helicopters in the game, too, so I don't know. Pretend that's your way out. Same thing for a lot of games, like Seven Days to Die, I guess. Like, it could never, it might never end unless you kind of like put a cap on it, you know? This guy woke up in this military base then you know, he doesn't remember who he is. He just woke up with Adidas track pants on. He's just kind of living his life. So this is the bus we commandeered last time. We got to open up the rest of this fence to get out, though. I forget exactly where that was. I think it was up the road a bit. Dude's getting hungry, though. It's also fucking negative 10 degrees out. Snow is so bright. But there's still green grass showing. It's getting a little chunky there. I think there's a lot of zombies up ahead. So this is where we started opening a hole in the fence to get out. It's not big enough to get out yet. We gotta keep going. Kind of trying to kite them down. Yeah, let's, get, let's just get them the fuck over here. Maybe we can just like lure them away. I got plenty of ammo too. It's got a silencer on it, but I don't know how effective that is. They all get lost in the woods. All right. That works. Oh, no, there they are. What the fuck? What's up with that guy's clothes? Oh, he's just camo. I thought it was like all ripped up. Whoa. Teleported back up. Jesus. Try to take a bite at me. Ah, 
I like how a lot of the zombies, like their clothes correlate to where they spawn. Yo, he had half a blunt. You get that. Yo, he had an anime t-shirt. Let's see what that's all about. And a pink backpack. You can't really see it though. What anime is that? This little hammer is awesome. Axe, hammer, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, we just gotta bust that open a little bit. But as soon as I start working on it, I'm gonna get bit. We got this. Do I have the sledgehammer on me? I don't think I do. So I'm just gonna grab the sledgehammer, open up that hole, and then get the fuck out of here. They have way too much stuff, though. Might have to drop the gun for now, too. Put that shit down. So apparently they're redoing, like, the fire in this game and stuff, too, now. Like, they're redoing a bunch of shit. Like, there's a new crafting system coming out. Which is nice. Okay, yeah, I'm, like, a pound over. If I ate some food, though, I might be able to pull this. I don't think we have any food really, like, hanging out, though. Oh, we do, though. An entire jar of maple syrup. Yeah, it looks like they're redoing a lot of stuff. Like, all they're adding, like, blacksmithing and stuff finally, too, right? There we go. Now let's go open this sheet up. Oh man, I'm already getting exhausted. I don't know why these tiles are showing up so like clearly. I guess like the when you see them for the first time, maybe I don't know. So I think we gotta open this up just two more slots, maybe spaces. Yeah, it's all you guys just gotta do whatever in Zomboid. Like, I like to grind out electricity and mechanics at first so you can get, you know, the ability to jumpstart cars. And then from there, concentrate on like one specific kind of weapon so you can be really proficient, like proficient, proficient in like fighting. And then start using the shotgun so you can really grind that shooting and aiming ability. You get like a pretty well rounded character that way. All right. 
I think we're good to go. I think it's time to leave. I'm going to back up this thing to this car. Or maybe I'll pull the car up to here so I can just drop off everything else. Look at this thing. It looks like a futon. Someone just dropped off there. I don't know what the fuck happened. I drop that sludge hammer off. It's way too heavy. Yeah, let's just throw it all in the car. Throw it all in. <clears throat> Get it in there. Also, like I said on the Discord, if anyone who's in that uh, Zomboid channel wants the info, just let me know and I'll send it to you. If you want to play in there, Dark. You're welcome to. You throw this stuff in the roof rack. This one we're, is pretty well in now, and it's already called out, so you have to, like, find cover right away. The zombies are kind of nerfed right now. Because some uh, people who haven't played much, I think, are getting on the server. So I kind of turn the difficulty down for everybody a little bit. But there are a lot of them. Okay, and there we go. Oh, it's from the bus. Let's see. So this is all in the other car now. Okay. I do want this bag though. And that one. Throw up here. Good. Yeah, let's drive the fuck out of here. There we go. All right, yeah, when I get a minute, I'll put the info in there. There's a lot of spawn points, too, so you can have a lot of variety in where you want to start off. Let's see if we can get this thing the fuck out of here. Oh, no. go. I don't know where the actual road is, but I guess we'll find out. Also, this guy's getting tired. I don't really think that affects your driving ability at all, though, so it's all good. Not like in real life. Like, you ever drive and, you know, try to get somewhere a couple hours away when you're kind of tired? becomes like torture after a little bit. It's like, wow, I really should not be driving. I need to stop. Shit's dangerous. There we go. And there's mad fucking zombies down here. So many. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. And now there's no one. This thing has lights on it too, I think. 
Also, it's really cold. We should probably put the heat on. I don't know if light really attracts the zombies or not. It just looks cool. It's like easier for you to find where you put your car. Yeah, they're out there. They're just in the woods. Oh, I should reload that gun too. Oh shit. Oh my God. Holy fuck. that many it's jammed I'm jamming man I oh, put the fucking empty clip in There we go, I didn't actually even put it in. I don't think it pulled them all. Yeah, the bus is a mobile base. But we have to find stuff to put in at first. But I need to get out of this military base. It's got like nothing left in it, really, except for, you know, a lot of good things, but no food. We're like kind of running out of food in there. So the cool thing about the bus is you can actually enter it. And I've been putting some stuff in here, like I got these tools, video games, some books, some videos. You can put a plow in the front of the bus. We got to find one, though. There was one there on the ground, but it was completely destroyed. The bus. Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevy. That's it. I guess we killed them all. That looked like way more than that, but hey. Thank you. Thank you. Mini map's kind of in my way right now, I feel like. Wait. It becomes like a bus from like Day of the Dead or whatever. Should probably slow down. I only got one bus. How do you open the mini map up if, if you close it? Well, that was that. A little uh, checkpoint. I think we can go around these zombies. Didn't really seem to pose a threat. Yeah, the music was going wild. Whoa. 
You can make, you can uh, tow one car behind you. It would be sick if you could make like a fucking actual train though. Oh fuck, we gotta go, quick. Quick. Oh fuck. Go. Jesus Christ. Let's get back on the road. Get a couple gigantic hordes. I mean, we're on a road, kind of, it's just covered in snow. Getting tired. Heckish. That's not really a big deal, though. Did you hear the phase on that guitar riff? That was sick. Where the fuck are we? You know, the road just changed right there. Okay. It's in a little farm. I don't think we need to go here. Keep going. Stay on the road. Yeah, apparently they're going to add elevation at some point like that. But right now, the game is completely flat. So there's no, like, dips in the roads, really. Although there are bumps in some ways, like, um... If you kill a bunch of zombies and they're in a big pile and you try to run them over, like the pile with a car, your car will like kind of flip over if you hit like a giant lump of zombies, which is kind of funny. Yeah, you can scrap. Oh, you can scrap all sorts of cars. Sometimes reading chat is hard when you're driving. That's why it's not a good idea to drive and chat in real life in some little neighborhood oh my god it's not too bad so where are we going There's Muldra. Rose? Roseberry, maybe? Roseberry. Rosebud. Ooh, pretty healthy population here. It's all of a sudden 51 degrees out. Oh, we're in the car, that's why. Yeah, like have like cliffs and stuff. They do have mods that kind of add that, like a mountain area with like that, that kind of Warcraft 2 cliff Starcraft elevation idea. If you know what I mean? I've seen it recently. I want to try it, but it seems like one that need some more time to cook but that could be really fun like a mountainous area where you can't really drive cars as easily if you get like a quad or something this 
guy really needs to sleep. Might be best just to go sleep in the car. Find a little quiet spot. Quieter over here. This big fence looks cool. This might be a neat area. The zombies can't get over the fence, so. Be a good place to hold it down for a little bit. Oh, it's got like a gate. What is this? area might be a place a good place to park and sleep it's like fairly quiet what is that a humvee a humvee truck Kind of zombies in there. Let's shut this gate. And be in the inside of it. Those scrap weapons make really cool sounds. Like these weapons I have are modded in like this, like pipe wrench axe is like a, a mod that you can do. There we go. So you took like a wrench and added like a blade to it. What? Is it the key in it too? Sick. Smoke a blunt. In this new car. Yeah, if like zombies couldn't climb up certain hills, that would be funny. They just like fell off. That would be good. It's got no gas. Let's see what this motherfucker's got. It's in pretty good shape. The trunk is kind of fucked up. Not a bad find, though, honestly. Gotta fix this lantern. There we go. I guess we could just leave it here. Oh, yeah, this guy's hella hungry. I don't know where I put all the food. Pencil. Yeah, I don't know, actually. I may have forgot to pack the food. Or it's in the Alice pack, maybe. Outside. Maybe? Where the fuck is this guy rolling up from? I 
Yeah, I mean, there'll be so many cars to salvage. It's not like... I want to get to a better location first. Here we go. Let's eat a box of cereal. Should probably just dump out all this shit into the fucking bus anyways. Sort it out. Haul it out of there. Yeah, just ignore those those uh, parking cones. They don't mean anything. Nothing to do with our universe. Yo, critical error. Thank you for that 39, dude. What's going on? You got a nail gun here, too. This is all the good stuff, though. It would seem. I don't think any of those other zombies saw me over here. They just kind of walk by. This guy needs to sleep desperately, though. It's about to like start hurting him. Oh, they're just like staring over there. Well, time to just fucking sleep in a bus. It's fine. A little dark out now, though. But we can get the fuck out of here. Oh, wait, that backpack. Also, I don't know about the Humvee. I'm just going to leave it here for now. I don't think it has the uh, horsepower to really tow. I think it's too heavy to bring with me. I'm going to throw this in the truck, too. Maybe someone will need a backpack. Actually, hold on a second. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. Oh, four. I'm just doing something on Discord and a zombie just rolled up. There we To dismantle the Humvee, it would probably take a while. You know what we can do though? Instead of it just like completely forgetting about it. We can mark it. Right here. I done found a Humvee. Over here. See? And now we know where it is. I done found a Humvee over over here. Over yonder. Nah, let's get the fuck out of here. There's a mod too that lets you spray paint, so you can just like spray paint on the ground there and be like, car over here. Or, you know, other things. Whatever your heart desires. All right. So I think we should head over this way more. Try to get to Moldra. That'd probably be a good place to meet people who are spawning in. This looks like a main road.
We really gotta avoid running over zombies too, though. If at all possible. I don't know where we are right now, too. We gotta get some maps. The gas station or something. Big fence. What's this? <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, there's quite a bit of zombies. There's some kind of... Oh, it's school. I have some food. Oh, yeah, it's pretty small, whatever it is. What the fuck am I? <laughs> oh. Yeah, it looks like a school. Almost clipped that stop sign. a lot of guys. Oh no! I wonder if there's roof access. If I can get on the roof of this school and just start shooting guys. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Chamber. Oh no! This poor bus is getting destroyed already. I'm gonna have to get out and fight. It's actually not too bad. Oh, there they are. Holy shit. Yeah, they're still crawling over that way.
Close that window. <laughs> I don't know if they saw that. Got some beer and chips here. I gotta get a canteen. Apparently, I don't have that. Have a water bottle. Also, I missed a brief sub from Sonic Cool Club. Not bad. Went by too fast. Didn't see it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I'm just going to clear this out. There's so many zombies over here. Just fucking get them. Zombie fight at the school. It's happening. Slow it up. There's a bunch over there. split off. There's so many more before. They don't go. What? It's happening towards the west? That means that a horde is coming. happening or why he's talking oh shit. I think there's a mod installed that creates like a horde event every few days maybe that's what happened see the horde. Nowhere in sight. Also, it doesn't seem like there's any other way out of this place. Oh, shit.
Let's just get back on the bus. Yeah, this thing looks like it's pretty sick, though. Look at the rims on this Cadillac. Also, I have on a mod that makes it so he just smokes automatically, which is kind of nice. A bull bar for a Cadillac. Can I attach it to this one? Car battery charger. I do kind of need all this stuff. I'm going to take it all with me. I'll take the bull bar too. Hammer. Propane torches are always going to come in handy. I think I've already read that. Yeah, let's put that back out in the bus. What the fuck is that thing? There we go. Drop that all in there. Uh, I'll say that sounded really close. So for some reason you can just melee with the gun too. I don't know how you would kill something with the barrel of the gun, really. Like, just stabbing a zombie, I guess? It's not like it has, like, a sharp end on it. How the fuck does that work? Still not sure what town this is. I guess. Like, it works like this. Like, now it's just like a melee weapon. Whoa. All right. Let's keep it rolling. Yeah, it didn't seem like there was a road out of town south of here. They're in that fucking house. Like this school is just the end of this road. Where does it keep going? Yeah, that's it. It's like a little neighborhood. I kind of want to check out the library of this school too, though. Ooh. Whoa. That's close. Whoa. What the fuck? The whole crew came out of nowhere. Yeah, we're going to have to, like, find a garage and fix this thing up. From all the accidents. Crashing into light posts and shit. Just find a good place to drop it off and repair it and find like a smaller car to drive around in the meantime. Oh, what the fuck? What was this place? It's an RV. Good. 
I think we're in Rosewood. I think that's where this church is. Rosewood? Rosebud? Check out this RV. No key. Could hotwire it. Nice. Nice road cones. Some fresh pineapple. Don't mind if I do. What if I take this stuff out of the RV and put it in my bus? Let's take this canned food. We got some frozen stuff too. How would I pick up the fridge? No abilities needed. What about this thing? Ah, more electrical needed to get the oven. You could take the TV and shit though. I mean, we could take that from anywhere. Yeah, we could do a little rearranging that way. Whoa. Because the bus is just a bus and all it has is rows of seats. second. Oh no. What time is it? I don't know why the fuck it did that. Server shut down. I thought it crashed for a second. You think you connecting to that? Weird. Probably not. I don't think so. It shouldn't have caused that. Weird. We kind of did the thing that seems like it did like a uh, programmed restart. I don't know. Let me check it real quick. Seems like this looks wrong. Oh yeah, so it's down now. Before. That's really weird. The site says it's up though. So, uh, fuck something 
I was just playing earlier with a few other people, so it should be working fine. so weird. Yeah, I mean, I guess it could have been from someone else trying to connect. I don't think so, though. Let me try to just force a restart, I guess. Just, like, sitting there. Sorry, everybody. That's weird. Now it shows up. Well, I just restarted it, so it shouldn't show up now. <laughs> it doesn't show up for me now. Okay, now it should be back up. Yeah, try to connect. Maybe not. I just upgraded this server too the other day. It's really annoying. Little annoying. Should be up in a second, then. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Hold on.
Sorry about that, everybody. Sorry about that. Seems like it's working now. I hope. Maybe. Yay! Yeah, some Grand and Conquer music should go well in Zomboid. They're very similar. Alright, I was gonna steal some furniture from that RV. And get. do some rearranging in here. Were you able to get in this time, Dark? You should spawn in Rosewood. Because that's where I am right now. If you haven't picked yet. Or the one with the prison. I think that's Rosewood, right? Alright, let's destroy some of this stuff. Or do I not have the sledgehammer in here? Oh, damn it. Ah, uh, you picked Maldra. Fair enough. Where did I put that sledgehammer? Backpack? Do I have it? Oh. Is it like lost in the nether? Can't be. I mean, I think I saw another one recently, honestly. Where the fuck did it go? We can go get that one. We'll just go get that one. Yeah, like disappeared. Son of a bitch. Maybe I dropped it? What the hell happened? What did I do with it? Hey, what's up, Johnny? Um, I don't know, probably like Moldra. I'm in Rosewood right now. It's up to you. There's so many spawns. I know there's a lot in there. It's on kind of easy mode right now. The zombies aren't really that strong. Well, shit, as I get fucking mauled. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, it's fucking funny. All right. Let's take care of these guys. Immediately knocked down. Um, sledgehammer. I don't know what happened to it. It's got to be over there. Overconfidence. But yeah, spawn him wherever. Muldra, probably not bad. Rosewood, if you want to get picked up right now. Possibly. Oh. Yeah, the population is a little high. Okay, I think this is where it was. Is it? I just had it on because the server crashed for a second, but I guess we're good now.
it's like a bad sound almost like stop you're hurting the weapon oh my god There we go. But yeah, I'm pretty excited for this next update. I don't know when it's happening, but it seems like they're adding more. And oh, did you see that? There we go. There we go. We got the audio. We got all the audio now. Really? You think it's going to be a year still? Also, Molten. What's going on? Thank you for that resub. Appreciate that. It's 16 months. Hope you're well. Alright. Killed so many of them over here. There it is. There's one on the ground. Copy there for a second. I saw there was a mod that someone made recently that's pretty popular that like fixes um, the lag you get from like looking at recipes, maybe. I think it was. I was thinking of looking into that. But like I said, there's already like fucking 300 something mods on there, so it's like all adding up. A lot of them are for performance, per, like improvements and stuff too, but, you know. All those different developers working together doesn't always work out, I guess, in tandem rather. All right, let's do a little rearranging in here. But. Let's use some uh, some Sims music. Which one is the one? There we go. So first, let's rip out these old bus seats. We won't be needing them. Let's get rid of all these. Make it a place to live. You know, a bus can be a home. Just as easily as anything else. Maybe even easier. So I'm thinking maybe we'll put some counters in here facing the windows. I'm going to leave that locker, I think. That locker will be like a, you know, just a, a little piece of the old days. Now, we're kind of in like a uh, another dimension where, where we're in this like sub map area. But we're effectively like inside a, a domicile. We're in a house, you know? All right, so let's go get some more stuff for in here. Let's go do some shopping. Let's go check out this house. Let's see what they got. It 
See, a lot of these houses in, like, the early maps, though, they don't really have a lot going on. It's not even, like, it's like a studio apartment house. Let's take this fridge. What kind of fridge is this? Just a plain fridge. Let's drop that ground beef. Too heavy for inventory? Ooh. There's too much stuff in here? Dude, I had the Rosewood map in my inventory the whole time. And that's where we are. Oh my god. Yeah, there's a Humvee over here. If you guys spawn in here and you want a Humvee, there's one over there. I hotwired it, but it ain't got no gas. Uh, the prison's up here. I don't know what these are. So, how am I going to take this fridge? I just need more room. away maybe the M16 away damn that salvage axe got beat the fuck up so quick too that's such a heavy I know there's a way to pick up a fridge there has to be Right up too heavy. We just need a hammer for that one. Thought I had a hammer on me. I don't like that bed really that couch rather I guess we could take it yeah we need a hammer let's go get that there's one in the toolbox I think yeah the fridge is running somewhere Running away. Dude, what the fuck? Is my hammer gone now? I got five screwdrivers. I don't got one hammer. You know what I do have, though? Is a Game Boy that I can play. I can play Link's Awakening on. Sick as that. Maybe the hammer's in the overhead. There's gotta be one floating around though. No. There's a crowbar. There's a hammer. I think we need a saw too. I know there's a saw inside. I just fucking forgot that too, of course. Up, 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 da, da, da. He beat it. He played the game. Time is just like a construction and and zomboid. It's just a suggestion, man. You probably get rid of that. Of course, the door is unlocked. 
All right, let's start taking things away. Birch counter. You're going in. Nope, it broke. Nope, it broke. There, we need a pipe wrench for that one. Let's take this little table. Have any storage in it? No. Damn it. Let me fuck this up. Don't really want to sink. Let's try to take this uh, couch. All right, we got that. Blue Rattan Couch. Rotan. Just let that sink in. Let's see if we can get this set up. This will be like a bed. Whoa. This will be like a little bed. Mm-hmm. Also, this may crash the game. Um, no, it's not working. Never mind. It ain't working. Hey, it worked. We got a little bed in there now. Let's put the sound on. We need to get a fridge in there, though. Yeah, I was trying to fix the mod that lets you sit in chairs and stuff. Oh, did it work? It's working. I guess it doesn't work for some couches, though. I think the blue rattan couch is new. But yeah, you could sit. wasn't working before. Yeah. You guys are going to have to leave. I don't have time for that. Looks like laying is not working still. Let's grab this TV. We have this pot too. This not cannabis, this pot. Let's get this pot, fam. Yeah, that would be nice to put this sitting in. It's like all this cool stuff in the game, but you have to sit on the fucking floor by default. It's so kind of dumb. But it is what it is, I guess. If it's not like of the utmost importance. But True Actions is cool. They have a lot of cool stuff and the dancing and all that. And the dancing. All right, let's go somewhere else and get more furniture. Fuck this place.
Damn, they're everywhere. No clear path here. Every time one of them pops under the car, I think of that Toxic Avenger clip where the fucking head gets run over. The watermelon replaces it. No, I mean, world interaction should be higher. They're starting to say that themselves. Like they just said recently with a lot of the um, NPC and like animal stuff they're working on that it makes the world feel so much more alive just to have like the little things. So like they're going to make like a active effort to like start like doing some stuff like that. Like not necessarily just like sitting and laying down, but like, you know, like birds flying by or something like that or maybe like a animal you can't like interact with but you could see eventually like stuff like that making the world feel more alive but i think that's kind of the same vein Ooh, a bookstore country buffet we need some food so yeah stuff that makes the world feel a little bit more alive would be nice but also, I'd like for them to just get out of early access and have like a version of the game that they want to deliver, kind of, but it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> oh, this is actually a buffet. It's all rotten. Rotten chicken nuggets. Yeah, this is Rosewood. Rotten gravy. You guys remember gravy robbers? I don't want to eat too much cereal. My guy is already like overweight, kind of. Oh, wait, he's going down. We need some cereal. Could use it. I want to like get some counters because the counters are a table and they have storage. I feel like I could benefit from that. And that, I guess like a buffet table could be kind of cool to have in there. Let's try to pick up the floor. I guess I can't pick that up. Person named Gravy. Also, sorry about that. My mic was fucked up for a second. Wow, it actually worked. I picked it up. We got the steel counter. Let's put it in the bus.
Put it in the bus. The fuck in there? Alright, here we go. Just need four more of these. The eyes? Let's put the TV on top of that. more of those. Let him smoke a cigarette. Orange patch. Uh, I think it's like scrap armor. Forget. Got a poncho, tactical knee pads. Are they coming in here? They coming in here. Let's grab it some more of these. Gonna empty it out. Some dog food. How dire of a situation would you need to be in to eat dog food? Like, how are you guys feeling about that? Yeah, he's. Fairly protected. The poncho being like that is just for show. It protected his whole body, though. ever smell like the food when you're feeding your animals or whatever like that really it just grosses me out like wet food like that it's so nasty like cat food is one thing but I remember the food they used to give my uh, my dog back in the day was so gross like I remember dog food changing over the years it was like these moist little like meat spaghetti strands for a while you guys remember that era well, not like we all had the same dog food right now, but. One of my friends used to eat milk bones and he's like swears that they're still like good for you. What do you think about that? He grew up on a farm though. Dog food repulsors and dog food eaters. Just two types of people in this world. Getting a little hungry, too. Good thing we're in the middle of a fucking buffet, right? Let's eat some grapes. Little grape. The cotton candy uh, strain of grapes, too. That was pretty dank. I've had those a few times recently. Nope. It's the sound of a steel counter exploding. Gaines Burgers.
Bam. Let's grab that. Extractor hood? I don't want that. I want the oven. Well, here you go. Wait, is he already holding on to one? No. Yeah, drop all that shit on the ground. Weird dog food from the 70s. Oh, okay. I thought that was like someone's name. I was like, that would be a good name for your character in Zomboid. Gaines Burgers. Just have him start out like severely overweight. That would be my like personal RP. All right, we need to find a fridge now. Whoa. That's not, is this like a corner? What the hell's going on here? There we go. Let's put it in the right spot. Where's this thing going? All right, it worked. We'll put a bookcase right here. Then we'll put a fridge right here and then maybe two crates right here on top of each other. And then the rest, I have no idea. We need a sink too. I should grab a fucking wrench. Just a wrench. I think I could take the sink with that. A table with a plan, the other girl poster. Pretty girl. Need to find some hotties magazines, which is an actual vanilla zomboid item. What is this thing? A deep fryer? Yeah, we should just take the deep fryer and use that thing. Yeah, it's not letting me pick up the ovens at all. Interesting. Well, what about an industrial fridge? It'd probably be fine. I'm sure that'll be fine. Throw this butter on the ground. Wasting a lot of food in Zomboid. Too heavy for inventory. Son of a bitch. I think I just gotta drop a bunch of shit. The fuck else do I have to drop though? Maybe like my backpack and shit? Oh yeah, that was where all the weight was. There we go. Got it. I have no weapon though now. Oh yeah, I gotta play uh, CDDA sometime. It's been recommended a few times. Okay, that's not good that that guy was right there when I got in the fucking the truck. Probably should have killed him first. 
One of these days. I heard that there's like a nemesis mode you could do with where nemesis from RE3 just like chases you around. That sounds sick. Just fucking put it in the pocket. Pocket fridge. Let's, uh, nice. Let's go take care of that zombie, maybe. Oh, I fucked up. I wish that was a thing in Zomboid. That would be fucking dope. If Nemesis could just fucking break through a wall and kill you. Yeah, or move the TV down a little bit. Um, backpack, that's right. I probably could have picked up that other stove now. Oh, let me get the sink and stuff too. Wrench must be in the backpack. How am I hurt? Oh, from picking up heavy things. Also, probably have a slight wound from this. Dirty band-aid. Let's fix that up. It'll be just fine. All right, nice. Yeah, this is how sinks work. Uh, if you need water anywhere, you just pull the sink out and take it with you and put it in another counter and it just works. That's how water works. It works inside the RV or bus for some reason, but I think in Zomboid otherwise you have to like plumb a water source from like above the sink or something like that. I don't know exactly how it works. I've never done it before. Nope, that's not going there. Please. It has to be one level above within one tile, and then you use a pipe wrench to connect it. So for some reason, it just works. Oh no, I need a pipe wrench. I think I turned all my pipe wrenches. No, no, there's one. Let's plumb it. And now it just works. Sick, dude. So we got a water source. We got a refrigerator. Got some pot. Let's see if I can put the TV on top of the fridge. I don't know if I can. Again. No, come on, man. Let me do it. Maybe if I could get into that corner, he could. He like starts to want to be able to do it, but he can't. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I guess we could make this just like a little. Wait, what? It's not working at all now. Had it over there before. I think it's because it's got to be on the ground tile. Yeah. So for that one, it wouldn't work. I see. 
I'm afraid to move this couch right now, though, because I'm afraid it's going to break. But let's try it. Right, so technically that one was out in the ground, right? Out of no, in the middle of nowhere. Damn it, it broke. It's garbage now. You know, I didn't like that couch anyways. Let's get rid of it. Fuck that couch. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, I don't know about moving that couch, man. It might explode if we try to move it. I don't think I want to risk it. <laughs> might explode. Some good first aid stuff in here. Should maybe fill up a bag. Ooh, Doomsday Survivor Blunt Weapons. Make a tin can club. Add that to the library. Yeah, let's grab some meds. Some medicals. You never know when it'll come in handy. I think you can make band-aids too, right? Ooh, a first aid box. That might have first aid spray in it, which basically just heals you. Why would the doctor's office just have smoking pipes in it? I guess we're in Kentucky. Bum, 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 bum. Antibiotics. Backyard smelting for dumb shits. I'll take all this stuff. This will be good for the library. Um, done. Now my battery uh, died on that thing. Son of a bitch, now he's using like a flashlight or something. What do you do with that garbage bag? <sighs> the green table? I don't know if I saw it. squad out there. Whole squad. They won't break in for a while. It was next door to the dentist. Did you see that? Yo, they got NBA Jam and Super Mario World. And some cigarettes. This doctor was cool as fuck. I don't even know if I remember the NBA Jam intro song. Oh, I got too much shit now. Get the fuck out of here. There should be enough medical supplies for a little while, though. Wow. Shit, my knee. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe we should hit the road. I don't... I'm not sure about this little town. Yeah, I always see people talking about how their doctors had like N64s and Super Nintendos, but I never had that shit. You know what we had? The little toy that you like guide beads through it. It's like four different kinds of beads and they all slide around and like corkscrews and stuff. That's it. 
and like outdated highlight magazines. Only sick kids remember. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I could probably put this stuff away if I don't have the gun on me. For now. We'll just drop these medical supplies to be organized at a later date. I love this song too. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what they're supposed to do, I guess. Let's look at this bookstore a little bit. Oh man, there's so many. You could probably use a lot of these. Let's put a bookshelf in there. How much space does this have? 52? I'm curious what these metal cabinets have for capacity. Where were those metal cabinets in the doctor's office? You know, you just fucking get knocked over if you run into a wall. Where was that shit? Over here. Some guy's getting tired now, too. It's minus 50% melee damage, which is huge. It's a big deal. You see? Oh no, I need more carpentry to pick up a metal locker. Are you fucking kidding me? Can I just go like chop trees down for that? I think carpentry is relatively easy to level actually. You just need to like take apart beds and stuff. If we find like a hotel, we could probably get that leveled up in no time. Legal services. Well, for now, let's just focus on the fucking books, I guess. Maybe we can take one of these shelves with me. Transfer all these books out to another shelf. I mean, 52 is relatively good. We could just take it down if we don't need it later. Really? You found a Santa zombie? What the fuck? I haven't seen him. Nice. Yeah, we could definitely grab that. Hell yeah. <clears throat> and we got like a little mini library in this thing. Let's do it. I guess it would be cool to put shelves up about like all up on this wall so you can block the windows out. And pretend it's not a bus. Maybe a little bit. Ma 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 ooh ma ma. I think Steve uh, Wallace converted a bus into like a camper kind of. I don't know what the fuck he really did with it other than. Um, just put like a bed in it. Isn't that a thing in Animal Crossing? Can't you live in a bus in Animal Crossing? Or someone lives in a bus, right? Or what about Stardew Valley? Someone lives in a bus in Stardew Valley, don't they? Doesn't Pam live in a bus? But it's like cool. Then there's also the guy from Into the Wild who lived in a bus and obviously passed away, unfortunately. 
been reading a little bit about that lately. There's an artist living in a bus in Harvest Moon. Hmm. Medicinal benefits of herbs. Herb. So yeah, I put a mod in that adds uh, green, red herbs and yellow herbs from Resident Evil. And also first aid sprays. So if you go foraging enough, you can just find green herb. Um, you know what I should do first? Let's put all these books in. But unpack the doubles before I get in. We don't have like a billion repeats. There we go. Thought I already read that one. Like we don't need three first aid beginners books. We really just need one of each. It'll be like a mobile bus mobile. You guys ever have one of those come to your school? There's just a bus full of books. Pretty sure that happened. I think that was a thing. The bookmobile. Imagine getting run over by the bookmobile. Like, how sad would that be if a bookmobile ran a little kid over? It'd be pretty sad. Yeah, it'd be a great story. Now, I'm pretty sure that really happened, didn't it? More doubles. more room do we have? Yeah, not too bad. The magic school bus was involved in a hit and run. Well, that one kid died on it. He like turned into ice and shattered, didn't he? Wasn't there like a federal investigation into that? Or it happened in space, so technically there was no no laws against it, I guess. It happened in international space territories. Mar maritime law. Yeah, he came back. He was okay. He just died a little bit. Nah, Miss Frizzle would be able to get out of any kind of like legal binding consequences. I'm sure she'd be able to get her way out of that. No doubt. Hmm. 
know if I need that one or not. Medicinal benefits of herb. There's three fucking like copies of it. The herb. I wonder if I should take another bookshelf just for just to have this storage space for now. Is the other side of the bus is all empty too? Just break in some bookshelves. Breaking them up. I don't understand the name of the book store book. Naked. Like what? what does that mean? Like cook naked? Is that what the, it's a play on? Yeah, we got it. There it is. I like that there really. I bet I could put this bench in there and use that as a bed. Bad sleeping quality. Yeah, let's not use that. You can break into someone's house and take a bed. I'm sure there's one up here, maybe back there. How's that? Moving truck? fellas over here. This song is sick. Up, 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 up. Oh, he's all tired and hungry. The zombie's pleading with me. What the fuck's up with that one? Whoa. What is up with that zombie's body? Yeah, I think those are Resident Evil 2 zombies. Is that finally working? His head is smaller than the other zombies, though. Sick, I like the RE zombies. What do you think of them? What's this? This looks like a nice car. RE3. Is that really the clothing itself gets changed? Hmm, that might not be good. The Cutlass Supreme. It's kind of a dope car, honestly. No keys. Lookie. Yeah, what's up, Cookie? 
Thank you for that resub. Thank you for that 21 months. Hope you're well. Appreciate that support. Oh, yeah. That's not good. Oh, fuck. Too small. Hand hatchet, nice. Battery jump starter. It could be useful. Yeah, it looks like there's steps to get up. Let's get those steps somewhere. Oh, it, it is actually a hotel. We could definitely grind out carpentry a little bit here. Oh, fuck. After we take care of some of these guys. <clears throat> Shit. This axe is about to break, too. Actually, this might be better at this point, too. Smuggle blunt real quick. Yeah, if they started pleading. I mean, they are doing that. That's one of the mods I have on where they're like, please stop. Small chance of it happening. Yo, Throbby and a Santa. Oh my God, they're coming out of everywhere. You gotta try to throw them off. Get back to the van or something. to rest a bit. <laughs> it just smokes the blood. I thought maybe it would relax him a little bit. What the hell is that? Just pile of trash. Econo rooms. Yeah, this is a hotel. It's a shitty hotel. Let's just see if they stop. safe here even though we're completely surrounded let's get some sleep oh it's doing the real time sleeping because there's other people on the server if I was alone it would speed through this but I still get a little bit of rest pretty quickly we just gotta give it some time He's got to sleep a little bit. One second. That's also more dangerous too, but that's cool. Probably get torn to shred.
All right, I think he's actually arrested now. Nah, it's all right. I think you get more rest this way when people aren't sleeping. Also, there's a good mod I have on that makes it so you don't get tired as much. Because, like, vanilla Zomboid, you get tired so, so easy. It's stupid. Oh, shit. Also, that was like a decomposed zombie. I think I cleared out a good amount of them that they're going to leave me alone. So these large oak beds, you take these apart for the most carpentry experience. Oh yeah, definitely play through vanilla, I would say too. The game is just a lot of fun modded right now as well. The modding community is huge. Let's just shut that door. So there's a lot of people doing cool stuff. Like all these RE2 mods and stuff. Hey, what's up, Global? How you doing? Might as well take apart a few of these beds. A little experience. Yeah, but we need a couch or like a... Uh, like single mattress. To put into the bus at least. But this is like the quickest way to level your carpentry in game. So it's like 128.44. Oh, I need to read that book. It, should, would it, be, it would be going even quicker if I did that. But still, that's like chunks away. I gotta read carpentry level two. Oh, there's a dude in there. There's a guy in there. Yeah, the farming in this game is really fun. It's like almost like it's on Harvest Moon mod now. Okay, here we go. This is exactly what we needed. Try to pick up one of these. Maybe not. Maybe the couch. That's funny. They're that dated then. Nope. Maybe the couch. I think this is leveling my carpentry even though it's failing. There we go. I kind of wanted the couch anyways, honestly. Oh, we can't sit on it though. Fucking... Son of a bitch. Fuck this couch. I don't want it. We'll find something better. I 
out yonder. I think that's one of the couches that isn't updated for true actions, though. I'm not sure. Might as well cut this little group down. Dude, when he's all rested up with all that axe leveling up, he's like, just cuts through them with it. And that's the like uh, profession I picked too allows slightly faster movement through forest and woodland and you just swing the axe faster it's probably my favorite way to play the game now but you have to have axes your guy doesn't really hit his hard. All right, where did my car go? Oh, yeah, it's behind there. Yeah. They're actually like revamping all the fire and stuff too, so it'd be cool to see if explosives explosives get like you know, a little bit more love in the game somehow. Instead of just being like a pixel fire that spreads around. problems already that's not good yikes the hood's already shot it's not in bad shape honestly it's still drivable but you gotta be careful get this thing out of here. You gotta take over like a good car garage. Whoa. Jeep? That thing. That's pretty cool. I guess it wouldn't really offer much protection though. You just get... Whoa! You just get eaten with no car windows and stuff. This is a main road. This is the fuck out of here. Oh no, we can't be running zombies over it. Like hurts the engine every time now with no hood. Alright, so that's a sign for Rosewood. I don't think we're too far out from Muldra. It's just down the roads away. I think there is a giant horde between here and there, though. Like the major intersection has like a gigantic horde of zombies in it. Damn, the bus is dying, too. Exploded. I 
I think there's a gas station down the street from Mulder. That might not be a bad place to like set up to work on this bus at least. Like out here is not too bad. Another rabbit. It's Robbie the rabbit. It's 10.30 a.m. Okay, this looks like the diner before Muldra, kind of. What is this? Oh, is this pit stop? I didn't even know Pit Stop was on this server. It is, I think. This might be a tough one to drive through. Oh my god, there's so many, the game is lagging. Yo, yeah, this place is absolutely lousy with zombies. the rabbits everywhere too. I think the roads are all clogged up in this place too. Fucking zombies out. We're slowly making our way through, though. It's not as bad down here. The guy's getting tired again, though. It's also not eating a lot of food, so... Should probably slow down. Jesus Christ, what was that? Was it garbage can? I don't know what these are, too. I keep seeing, like, something in the road like that. Mark it. Shit. I think we're almost through. There's the park. We're on the far side of town now. Yeah, even if the car broke, the bus broke down, I'd have to go back for it. I put too much work into it now. Also, it's a base, so even if it does break down, we could still come back to it as a headquarters, you know? It's taking a beating, though, that's for sure. 
Alright. I think this is it. I think this is the main road. But I think there could be an even bigger horde up ahead. Like a fucking giant one. Damn, we're getting very hungry. It's a big intersection. Oh my god. Fuck. Yeah, I think the gas station's actually south of here. Whoa. What was that then? We just need a bunch of metal plates, basically, and we can repair the bus. Whoa. Little camping event. I think that's a random event that could happen. Sure, it's up here. I think it's like the Red Owl gas station or something like that. Yeah, it looks like it's coming up. <laughs> the windshield's got like holes in it. I'd say it was a pretty successful adventure, though. We got out of the military base. Dude's a little hungry and tired, but we can fix that. There we go. Oh, yeah. Eat some alcohol wipes. Yeah, it's a good place to hold up for now. And it's got a like gas pump and all the car tools we need. Probably a good place to fix it up. There we go. He is tired as hell, though. Let's close that. I think this has got a little balcony. This is a dope little house. Also, no zombies in sight. So I'm going to wrap it up for now. Thanks for hanging out, though, guys. What's that next to the microwave? I think it's like a little napkin dispenser. 